Okay, YouTube, so here are my electric fans that I scored today at the salvage yard. I picked these up for roughly $11 each. Uh, these came out of a 1999 Ford Taurus. Uh, the earlier models had the really large fan. Uh, you can kind of see to my hand, these are, I think there's about 13 and a half inches across, uh, 12 and a half to 13, something like that. But uh, picked these up today. They're dual speed fans, high and low. And uh, I got all the little mounting hardware and everything for these. i uh, kind of show you right quick. It's got this plus sign kind of deal, you know, that you'll put on there. You'll cut out for your fan shroud, you know, uh, to use these. But uh, if you go to the junkyard and you get these fans like this, guys, go ahead and get all of your mounting hardware. Uh, the tops have these little rubber things that pop in and out like this. Get that, get the screw that goes into that, the little tab. Get all that stuff when you're getting these. Uh, the reason I chose these is because the CFM on low, I think, is something like 1,200, and then high is around uh, 1,900 or 2,000 CFM. Uh, pick these up also because they don't have the molded plastic shroud. You can actually take these and mount them to a metal shroud that you're, if you're building one and uh, use them. These also, being dual speed, they came with this uh, temperature deal, temperature sensor deal here that bolts onto the front the, the fan shroud also, uh, right there by the radiator. Uh, tells it when to kick into high and low based on what I was reading online. A uh, really good score here, guys, for about 25 bucks. Um, I would encourage you to check at your salvage yard uh, try to find stuff like this. Save yourself some money. Uh, the same similar fans like this. Uh, we're going to run somewhere around $100 a piece. You can actually buy these new for $56 a piece. But uh, I'm going to clean these up. Uh, fix my wiring harness. You can see where my wires are cut off of here. I'm going to set this up to where I can wire it into uh, a couple relays and uh, get it going. So... Uh, next part of this video, I'll take the fan shroud and I'll be trying to take these and mark my lines, uh, mark my circles to cut out of my fan shroud. So stay tuned and I uh, hope you like what you see. some at 35 miles east of Malta right there I'm trying to do this and get this to work put a little spacer in there and what I'm doing is looking at this hole and seeing where my line is as long as that does not go outside of my hole by half and I'll be in good shape. I'm gonna go over here and hook this plasma cutter up. I'm gonna go to work. But you measure your two sides, find your center, top and bottom, find your center, and you can even do it two more times diagonally. Find your center, make your little X, drill your hole in it, get you a piece of metal of some kind and cut you a hole in it. Uh, and go around and make sure you're inside of your circle. I'm gonna take that plasma cutter and sit it on top of that. And hopefully, I'm gonna run it around like this and cut that hole out somewhat straight. We're gonna find out. Stay tuned, could get wild.
So now that I have my holes cut out, I'll put this over here so you can kind of see, I need to trim this out right here. What that is, is for this metal tab here, it's a slot. This will go in there and slide over to where I can bolt this bottom mount for the fan onto the bottom of this shroud. The problem with that is, or why I'm not cutting it out yet, is because I'm gonna have to stick my fans up here and make sure that my holes are correct. Make sure nothing's rubbing. Like right now I can tell there's a little bit of something rubbing there. I'll have to get them lined up here uh, just right. I'll do one at a time, line them up, make sure that they're good, and then try to free spin the fan and uh, see how it's going. I'll flip it over and do the same thing, look at it, make sure that it's not rubbing on the other side before I go ahead and trim these, these little slots out. Uh, there's two on each fan, two on each hole, and then uh, of course up top, I'm just gonna have to drill a hole for the, the little rubber mount here. So uh, I'm gonna do that right quick, off camera, and trim it out, and I'll bring you back to hopefully the finished product. All right, so I went ahead and trimmed out the, the sides for this. I'll show you here in a minute how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes next. I noticed on uh, this side over here, I had to take out just a little bit more in this top section here. Uh, it was kind of rubbing on the fans, so I went ahead and took that on out. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Let me get them holes drilled and I'll uh, show you the rest. So I'm not done with this yet. I've still got to paint it, do a couple other things, but it won't take long. I'll throw these fans on here right quick and show y'all what it's gonna look like. I wind up having to do a little trimming right here to hold this little U-bolt, uh, U-clip. Not sure what they're calling them nowadays, but uh, stick that on there. Pop this all together right quick and uh, let you take a look. There it is. That's gonna be my fans and fan shroud. And I've got my plug and stuff over here that I'll uh, rewrap, rewire, reloom, and I'll mount this on the bottom somewhere where some air can get through there and get to it. And uh, that'll turn my fans high, high speed to low speed, I believe, is what that, that piece there does. So i uh, come back after I get this either powder coated or painted and get the fans cleaned up get all that stuff done, get the wire loom, add, add some power wire to these to hook to the relay, get all that stuff going, and uh, that'll be the next part of this video.